and welcome back, fight fans, to Gladiators of the Cage, the Road to Glory 7, being held at the beautiful Hard Rock Casino in Northfield Park, Ohio. I'm here with Charlie Smith, and I'm Grant Berger, and we are just getting off of a beautiful split decision fight between Mark Sestock and Rally Abbott. Coming up next, we've got Justin Jarvis versus David Shim, an amateur fight at 155 pounds. What do you have to say, Charlie? I'm excited. It's our first Cleveland versus Pittsburgh battle of the night, so I've been waiting for this. This is the rivalry, really, this card has been based around. This absolutely is. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape, Charlie. How does that sound? Let's do it. We've got Justin Jarvis, 31 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, and 170 pounds. He has no record as of yet. That has nothing to do with his fighting style, though. We have David Shim here, 31 years old, 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at a svelte 176 pounds with a record of 0 and 1. His last fight was a loss to Jacob Estep via unanimous decision in May of 2010. So, although David Shim is four, and, or, I'm sorry, zero and one, it's also been around four years since his last fight. So, that's not for nothing, if I'm right. There may be a little jitters on both sides of this one. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, our next event is in the Gladiators of the Cage Amateur Welterweight Division. Our fight out of the blue water, he weighed in at 175 pounds, stands five feet nine, 31 years old, with a record of 0 and one. He fights for Roman Sabanis. Ready to square off, waiting on the referee. Here we are, Justin Jarvis versus David Schimmick, Gladiators of the Cage, The Road to Glory 7, and they touch gloves. Cleveland versus Pittsburgh. Oh. Oh. Wow, beautiful kick by Shim. Both exchanging really heavy kicks. It appears Jarvis getting a little wily, trying to get the flurry. He's Shim dropping those landing. hands, heavy Shim, nice overhand right. Jarvis got to keep his hands up. David Shim's kicks are Nice really impressive kick. in my opinion, Charlie. Yeah, he's pressuring too. Both guys letting their hands a little bit lower than I would definitely like to see. Jarvis appears to get a bit wily when coming in with the, with the combination. I think Shim may be able to use that to his advantage. Well, he's doing a great job with that front kick. Every time Jarvis wants to charge in, Shim throws that front kick and bow. Oh, big, big left hand. Hammer fist. Wow. Oh, it's over. What a finish by David Shim. Wow. I, I cannot even. What? Was that a leg kick? Oh, he set it up. He hit it with an overhand left, it looked like, and it really rocked him, and he smelled the blood <laughs> in the water, and he took it to him. David Shim with his first victory in four years, his first victory ever. And what an impressive performance tonight by David Shim out of Dean Smith's dojo. Great job of preparation. That's what makes it all worth coming back right there, that feeling. And that's what makes fighting in Ohio worth it as well. That finish may not have happened if we were fighting under Pennsylvania rules. Great, you're 100% right. That ground and pound, he took it to it right away and went to the head and worked a couple really good shots and a hammer fist. Great job of finishing. Let's take a look at our instant replay. Here comes Jarvis again, letting those hands down dangerously low like we talked about. Perfect shot by Shim. Just time that you watch Jarvis's eyes just go up into his head. Shim then attacks, knowing, doing the ground and pound like he should. Catches him with another shot. Referee in. Great job by the referee to come in. He knows. Wow. Good job. Great finish. Congratulations to David Shim on his win versus Justin Jarvis at Gladiators of the Cage, the Road to Glory 7. And now to our ring announcer, Dan Bogan, for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Victor Van Truscan calls a halt to the action at 50 seconds of round one. For your winner, by TKO, I'm going to move for the Rachel Nation, David Shim! David? Three and open for congratulations.
makes us Pittsburgh Tree, Cleveland nothing. Taking an early lead. Let's go back to our broadcast team of Charlie and Brent. My jaw is on the floor after David Chimp's performance. Wow. I had no idea that we were going to see a performance like that tonight. The way that he just hit his opponent in the, the eyes that rolled back in the head. I mean, what do you have to say about that, Charlie? When I saw the hands dropping low, I was starting to get worried. And obviously, Shim saw that and his corner saw that. And they said, throw the overhand left. And boy, he threw a perfect shot, connected. And when I call smelling the blood in the water, he went for the finish. And Absolutely. that, like you mentioned about the ground and pound here in Ohio, it allows you to do that. And he did not waste any time, Grant. Absolutely. Kudos to Shim on his win. Wonderful KO. Now let's have a word from our sponsors.